thanks for all the questions. I'm going to try to get through all of them. Uh, if I don't, maybe I can do it in the next video, but here's the first one. What keeps you doing YouTube covers? I would say my love for drumming um, and just the songs I listen to. If I hear something I like, it's uh, fun for me to play along to it and then be able to watch it back and be able to see things that I do good, things that I don't do good, and things I need to improve on. But that would be why I keep doing drum covers. Are you self-taught? Uh, yes, I am. I started playing drums in 12 or 13, and uh, I started in band and playing snare drum, marching band, and then I uh, played a little bit in pep band, and that got me interested in playing a drum set. So I got a drum video and played along to it and learned some of the basic beats, and then from then on I just played along with music that I liked to hear and, and learned that way. What's your biggest accomplishment as a drummer? Uh, I would say just playing at, at church, being able to worship God through music and being on the, the worship team playing drums. Um, I've been in a few different bands, but I still enjoy the playing at church probably the most. What are your favorite YouTubers? Um, I would say Cobus, Troy Wright, um, Matt McGuire is really good. They would be some of my favorites. What is something you want to do with your drumming in the future that you're not already doing? Um, I'd like to maybe incorporate playing my electronic kit and using that for covers because I think the audio would be better since I don't have mics for my acoustic drums, but I'm still trying to get all the kinks worked out with that and I'll have to get a laptop to be able to, to record it through. What or who inspired you to play drums? I can't really think of a person who inspired me to play drums, but more of just a love of music and I uh, played piano first and just wanted to learn some other instruments and the drums seemed like the most fun to me and so that's why I stuck with it and practiced and practiced and, and still love drumming today. How did you come about doing drum covers on YouTube? That's a good question. I can't even exactly remember. I think I saw maybe Cobus or some other drummer doing it and I was like, hey, I could uh, I could do this and have fun playing the songs that I like to listen to and so that's probably how I got started. How did you get so good? Well, thank you. Um, I know I still need to improve in some areas and especially after watching some of my videos, I know things aren't as tight as they could be, but uh, practice, practice, practice and just once I get discouraged from not being able to get a beat, just sitting there and doing it over and over until your brain finally clicks with the beat and you just you got it. What is your favorite song to drum to if there is one? I would say Shadow and Soul by Red. Um, it's just a really fun track to play along to and anything by Red I just I love playing to. Which drum set that you own is your favorite? I would say my Ludwig Element Birch kit is probably my favorite. It's a seven piece. It's the biggest kit I have and just has really good projection. I like my other ones. I have a Gretsch Catalina club that sounds really good. Um, an old Ludwig rocker set and a Premier APK kit, but I've uh, changed that to an electronic set with mesh heads and triggers, so that ought to be fun to play. What are you striving to do when you make drum covers? Are you doing it to get yourself out there or just have fun? I would say just have fun. Um, like I said, there are songs that I really like listening to. If I hear a new song and, and really like it, it just, it's fun to play along to it and put my interpretation to it. Who is your favorite drummer? Um, I would say all time Ted Kirkpatrick of uh, Tourniquet. Um, one of my new favorites is Matt Garska of uh, Animals as Leaders. He just does such amazing drumming over some weird time signatures and it's uh, pretty inspiring to watch him play. You play a lot of music that I've never heard before, a lot of Christian rock, and you use a lot of different kits. Do you like to change your equipment out a lot? Um, I Like I said, I have uh, four different kits, so I, I do like to switch them up and play on, on different ones. I've got them kind of set up similar in my five piece. I have the two toms over here with the, the ride and then the floor tom. My seven piece is just all the toms in a row, but yeah, I like to play different ones and help me to do different creative things with uh, different setups. Favorite band? I would say Red is probably my favorite band. Uh, close second would be Decipher Down. What band can you always play along to on drums and never get sick of? 
I would have to say red. Um, if you look at my channel, I've done quite a few red covers. They're always a lot of fun to do. What is the rhythm you prefer to play? Um, anything that is a little out of the ordinary. Um, I do like the straight beat, but of course it's the backbone for most music. But uh, anytime I can incorporate, like I said, more kick or do something different with a hi-hat accent with the open hi-hat or anything like that, that's probably something I prefer. How much do you practice per day and do your neighbors ever complain about the noise? I would say on average I play about 30 minutes a day. Um, just depending on if I'm doing a cover, of course I might play longer, but uh, when I started drumming I practiced hours a day. And the neighbors that haven't complained, I don't play late at night, but uh, and I don't play my acoustics other than when I'm doing a drum cover, I usually play my electronic sets, so it's not really been an issue.